In this video, we're going to learn about the aggregate demand, aggregate supply model. And this is the last big model for the course. It is a pretty big, complicated, conceptual model. So be sure to ask questions when you have them, all right? Probably the first thing you need to know is that this model has absolutely nothing to do with the model of supply and demand. So if you're thinking, oh, I know demand and supply, just forget it. This model really does not relate to the model of supply and demand at all. In the model of supply and demand, we're talking about one single market and prices in that market. Okay. In the model of aggregate supply and aggregate demand, we're talking about total supply and total demand in the economy. Now, before we dive in, I want to just tell you where this model comes from. Okay. This model was developed by perhaps one of the most famous economists, John Maynard Keynes. You will hear people talk about Keynesianism, neo-Keynesianism, post-Keynesianism, right? He really helped define the trajectory of macroeconomics in terms of his thinking about short-run business cycles and how we address them. And this is going to be a basic version of the model that he developed to explain short-run business cycle fluctuations. Now, this is not the only school of thought as to why these fluctuations occur, but it will give you a foundational understanding about how we approach thinking about business cycles, what type of policy options the government has to address them or to try to reduce fluctuations, and why the government is doing what they're doing. So this is a really good like intro level foundation to thinking about macroeconomic policy. All right, so like I said, Keynes developed this model really in the follow-up to the Great Depression. The Great Depression happened and we were like, what? happened, right? So many people were unemployed for a long time. And we really started at that point thinking about these short run business cycle fluctuations, whereas that had not been something that economists were even talking about prior to the Great Depression. All of our models prior to this were focused on long run equilibrium. And Keynes said, you know what, that's dumb in the long run we're all dead we exist in the short run and what we want to focus on here are short run economic fluctuations okay so in this video we're going to introduce the aggregate demand curve in the next video we'll introduce the aggregate supply curves and then following that we'll have more videos to talk about how we use the model so you've got to be patient here it's going to take us a while to set this up but like I said, understanding what we mean when we say aggregate demand and aggregate supply is really the key part to understanding how to use this model.